Thanks for being here. I Hi, I'm Claire Cooley. This is the Creativity Show, and I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. And this show is going to be dedicated to Mother's Day tomorrow. We all have mothers, every one of us. Um, Hi, everybody. I'm Claire Cooley. This is the Creativity Show. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you for showing up and telling your friends about it. And this show is dedicated to Mother's Day. We all have one. Not everybody got to grow up with theirs. Nobody's perfect, including our mothers, though mine was doggone close to absolutely perfect. And in fact, I thought she was, even though she had uh, challenges in life, she rose above them, her extreme asthmatic condition ever since she was a child. She still took care of all four of us uh, on her own by herself. After my alcoholic, her husband, alcoholic husband, my father left. Um, so you know, she did the best she could, was always kind and forgiving. She nurtured me uh, to believe in myself. And that's what I want to share with you, whether or not you were blessed with a great mother that nurtured you to be you. Uh, maybe you had an uncle, a, a grandparent, uh, a teacher, a coach, a friend. Maybe you're still looking for that person to nurture you, to reach your luminous potential and keep looking if you haven't found them. And if you have someone or a few people like that in your life, treasure them because that is, that is the gold in life. That is wealth, is having that sort of unconditional love and support. So give it to yourself. And that's what this show is all about. I do these shows because I've heard more than anything else in my life. I wish I were more creative. I wish I was more creative. You're so creative. How'd you get to be so creative? You're the most prolific. You're the most multimedia. I just love to step into the flow of creativity. That is, I heard on a podcast this week, something I intuited. Uh, hopefully we've all felt and we will keep feeling when we step into the flow, that's where happiness is. Stress doesn't mean we're unhappy. doesn't mean we're happy. Not having stress doesn't mean we're happy or unhappy. What makes us happy is stepping into the flow, something that we can lose ourselves in, and that's creativity. That's what the creativity show is all about. That's what I want to share with you. That's why I do these shows. It's why I wrote my memoir, Incandescence, Rising Above Darkness, because people have said, your story helped me. It will help other people. So I published it with 68 pieces of my art and 40 photographs of different creative things I've done in my life, all because creativity is a safe and nurturing place I'm inspired. My muse is nature, natural harmony, natural beauty. So I want to share that with all of you. And we are going to be focusing this show and the recent uh, Saturday live streams I've been doing and the next week as well and for a bit longer on stenciling because it is fun, fast, frugal, fabulous, a way to create fashion, our own art to wear. 
in a uh, very quick, reusable, the stencils can be used and reused. We can use them for so many different purposes as these um, live streams, all of them can be watched at any time or shared with your friends. Uh, on the Creativity Show, I show using them on wall freezes, on clothing. There's going to be a lot today that we're going to show you on art to wear, I like to call it. Um, so are we ready, Bodhi, to start with the stencil designs? Okay, we're going to show you a video of um, in the dining room here in a moment, my son Bodhi, the movie maker, his creativity uh, is gone into storytelling and movie making. So here's drawings and um, there's a whole clothesline across the dining room with stencil designs of warblers and wildflowers I did. Uh, cranes, botanicals. I have uh, by now over 300 different stencil designs taken from either from drawings or paintings I've done and reduced into uh, what would work for a stencil. Or um, so in some cases, I drew them as a stencil to start with which next Saturday I'm going to take you through the entire process on, I'm going to pick a deer picture, do a drawing, turn it into a stencil design, cut that in front of you and paint it on one of my kimonos. The autumn kimono, kimono is going to have deer and maple leaf on it. So that's a whole clothesline line of different designs that turned into stencils. So now let's show, I went from cutting stencils originally with a razor blade, then an X-Acto knife, then a hot knife. And then I'm like, well, it's time to invest. I love this art form. I love how uh, many different uses, applications there are for it. So let's invest in a stencil cutting machine. And I got a Cricut. So let's show how the mat um, board, this is a stencil of a evergreen coming off the sticky board that the stencil cutter cuts. And I uh, peel it back. You need to be careful. Obviously, we speeded that up because it's not that fascinating in, in real time. Even the scraps, the leftover pieces I use in art projects. I try my absolute best in life. There's a stencil and a drawing of the evergreen right there. So that's, um, that's sticky board. You put the mylar on, the machine does the cuts for you and then you peel it off carefully. And if you're careful with it, you'll, you can use it, um, you know, for the rest of your life. It's very durable. Uh, if you, it's acetate. it's acetate and it's, um, it'll last forever if you take good care of it. So the scraps I will use in another art project, which I'll share for another time. Now let's show the dragonfly stencil being put on um, the summer kimono, uh, which is actually right here. We'll show you that after we show you this at the end of today's uh, restream videos. We have me stenciling on the dragonfly on the summer kimono. We'll have dragonflies and then we will show you um, the grasses next that will go at the bottom of the summer kimono. So I'm doing a piece called Essence of Everything, a multimedia performance piece that's inspired by the four seasons. And the summer kimono has dragonflies and grasses. Let's show the grasses next. 
and each of the seasons has um, creatures and botanicals. Each of the seasons um, also has summer's gold, uh, spring is bronze. Here's the grasses and gold on the summer kimono and the winter will have will be silver with evergreens and cranes uh, fall will be the deer and maple leaves with copper so each of the four seasons has a botanical and a creature birds fish insects mammals so i'm trying essence of everything to represent as many different aspects of the natural world as possible, which we are part of the natural world. Um, and my life um, calling inspiration is to portray the harmony I, I see, experience in nature through my art in many different forms and hopefully to um, increase the living in harmony with nature that uh, good for us, good for the planet. So let's, let's show the spring kimono, which is uh, the fish. There's the fish, which I also used uh, for the water themed uh, bathroom in the in the house here in the Emerald Lady, and um, so I use that on the wall. And like I said, these stencils can be used in many different ways besides creating art to wear, our own unique fashion, uh, one of a kind clothing. We can also use them. Um, in so many different ways, walls, scarves, on uh, handmade books for stationery, make cards. The, the applications are only limited by our imaginations. So let's show the um, orchids on the, this, that fish. And orchids are the, with bronze, are the spring kimono and I'm going to show you the actual kimonos um, after we show you these this process of how they're done so here's the orchids and they have um, many different subtle colors but the bronze foliage and then um, we're going to show you the many different art to wear clothing that I've done. I counted uh, individual pieces. We're going to show you this. Um, I started with drawing that was done with permanent pens on a outfit I made that I got an oil stain on. And this one too had a, some discoloring in this used store jacket. So I gave myself permission to use the permanent pens. Then I cut these feather stencils with a exacto knife. And um, that was uh, very, it's very doable. If you want to do a lot of stencils, by the time I got to this piece with the golden chrysanthemums, I had invested in the Cricut cutter and that really saved my hands um, because like I said, there's 52 different articles of clothing here. Here's a beautiful uh, used store dress that a, a Sue Spencer left for me and I that got me going to do these stencil outfits and here's uh, leaves and um, in a three-piece scarf jacket and pants so there's um, endless variety of uses for stencils I call them fun frugal 
fashion. We can cover stains, imperfections in fabric. This is a little bamboo on raw silk, and it just uh, here's a a gold a, a red chrysanthemum, the same stencil that the used on that rust kimono, uh, rust silk robe that uh, had the gold chrysanthemum. So you can use the same stencil, different colors. I like the ensembles. All of these clothes were either given to me um, or purchased in used stores. So they were all very um, reasonable, frugal way to have high fashion and one of a kind pieces and express your creativity and, and ha step into your happy flow, the creative reverie place of, of creating from our own imaginations where I like to spend as much time as I can in life. And um, no matter what our, our budgets or our time constraints, uh, we can find ways to use our imagination to uh, in, enhance our lives, express our emotions, so that stimulates our immune system, so we can heal and enhance our lives, our, our wardrobe, our home decor, our workplaces, any environment. Um, this That silk outfit I did, uh, the dragonflies once again and they are so uh, multifaceted uses and every time you use them um, you just take care of them and uh, they can be used for the rest of your life and there's some some fall leaf designs and now let's show where I started the tiger jacket. The very first uh, piece of clothing I did this DIY tiger pattern, rather a um, impressionistic tiger. There were some oil stains on this beautiful suede jacket, so it was it was extremely inexpensive at a used store. So I gave myself permission to experiment. And this was the first piece I did, just drawing on it with permanent pens. And then I did those colorful ones I showed you at the beginning of this video uh, with the many colors for the bird of paradise and the persimmon branch on the jacket. So we can save favorite articles of clothing or use a piece of clothing or fabric for a tablecloth or a wall hanging that has an imperfection and we can use it as a creative inspiration to uh, experiment with our own imaginations and use it as an opportunity to explore and express ourselves and live a more economical and ecological life, not wasting, using things instead of just uh, discarding them. So now I'm going to show you where um, I went uh, recently when I decided to do this long, um, Long ago, I got an inspiration to do this performance piece called Essence of Everything. And it will take the um, costumes inspired by the Four Seasons, and I will paint floor to ceiling panels inspired by the Four Seasons. And there will be spoken word turned into chant, turned into music with seasonal ambient sounds and my bamboo flute and we'll see where that goes. I like to go on an adventure with creativity and only figure out what I have to to begin and then take it like a trip to a place I've never been before and have fun 
exploring my own imagination and see what comes out and and step into the flow and follow the creative inspiration where it leads me so in this um, making the costumes for the four seasons before I had the confidence to put these things the paint onto the kimonos I had to start and I highly recommend this start with something um, low risk like these these very simple little um, you know casual wear this is where I started with the stenciling recently on the way to getting uh, my confidence back in my painting stenciling skills before doing these numbers of outfits we have the botanical wildflowers on the linen jacket we have some more cranes on the short silk kimono we have some bamboo on this long silk jacket we have more uh, wildflowers that uh, came from the warbler and wildflower series on this short kimono we have the ginkgo leaf on the jacket and dress uh, that match each other and then we have this steely gray rather drab ensemble that I put this nice bright pink on the vest and on the on the over blouse and made it into something totally unique and special and then I got the confidence to start the process with the here's the winter kimono with the evergreen and cranes here's the spring with the fish and orchids and I got a, a uh, tripod and made this kimono carousel and here's the summer with the grasses and dragonflies and I love this because we can see the front and the back as we turn it so here's the autumn kim kimono that hasn't been done yet so next next Saturday the live stream I'm going to be showing you from the beginning of getting an image turning it into a drawing then turning it into a stencil design then cutting it and painting it on this kimono so you'll see from the very beginning to the end the whole process and I'm going to show you the razor blade hot knife or cutter machine the Cricut cutter machine the simplest to the most sophisticated way and you can choose which way you want to do it so thank you very much and if you're enjoying this please don't uh, forget to tell your friends hit the like subscribe do all those things you know how to do and um, help me keep this going I'm doing this to share the joy of creativity with all of you so thanks so much for being here all righty I'm gonna uh, <coughs> we're gonna wrap it up on Facebook <coughs>